Minecraft Caves and Cliffs broke my old computer, but then I decided, hey, let's just buy a desktop. And since then, I have made a lot of crazy project videos because I have actually wanted to do these for ages, and we are finally back in my survivor world, which has been neglected for the past year. Yeah, literally. I haven't made a video in this place for an entire year. Maybe longer. But yeah, there's been some projects that have been going on in here that you have not seen or even know about the progress of. This here is a ginormous cave system. Bam, there we go. As you can see, I have completely converted that area into a massive cave system and it spans the entire of the old shattered plateau mountain all the way up to the sand village over here. And if we actually take a look inside, you can see I have completely transform the area uh what biome is this i have added in this green area but yeah we have completely terraformed this entire area and made an artificial cave biome that i haven't even finished because i have completely run out of stone now the next massive project i did was completely finishing up the forest area here i have made it a full featured Forest. It's not fully completed because I have some plans for more walkways to connect this area to this area But for now I have connected the railway that connects to our old base Which is way over in the distance over there like I mean way 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 like even if I had it on 80 render distance You would not see the base over there. It's that far now We also have this map room where we have the old map and you can see an overview of the entire base here as well as this project here this is the flattened out area for the raid farm if you guys who know of my old video on survival this area was planned to be a raid farm area and it is no longer going to be a raid farm area it's going to actually be a massive redstone district for me and it's going to have a lot of very important farms for collecting resources for me because i have actually found a new location for a raid farm but to do it i actually need to redesign my old raid farm for this outpost so if we come into my creative world you can see behind me we have the raid farm that i will actually be redesigning i can actually improve it with a little bit of shenanigans now i also have built a little area for farming amethyst but i'm actually going to make a proper amethyst farm using well some more cheaty method methods i guess i'm going to create a copy of this world and i'm going to find an ideal location with lots of amethyst buds so i can have lots loaded at once but you can see i made this small little area so that i can collect amethysts so that i can get more um spy glasses and stuff that amethysts need like such as tinted glass which is really useful for farms but for the meantime, this is my small little farming area for amethysts, and I quite like it. It's like a little bit of a mineshaft area, but this is way too far away from my base, and I mean way too far. Now here we are back at the base, and we have this area over here. We have the desert cut off by this wall that I've created to divide the two biomes nicely. And then we have this little area here, this little river area, which ends where the parkour ends that's right parkour i made a parkour around my entire base And that is the start of the parkour map but if you guys want to see the entire track well i'll show you from the top view of the base now the parkour map isn't finished but it does actually start from here and you go around across the roots through the lava jump and then you end up where i showed you but i also plan to continue it along with a elytra jump over some bamboo a shoot over to here with some tnt cross some bridges jump across the water again and then up the mountain down the side of the mountain round the back here and then to the finish 
right where I showed you. So yeah, as you can see, it is also a work in progress project. So I also need to finish the parkour map that is surrounding the base. So what's the very first project that we actually need to complete for this base? Well, if we come into here, we have the projects and ideas book. And if we look into the book, we can see the very first thing is finish the bedroom area. So here we are in the little bedroom area. And as you can see, it is a little bit sparse and empty at the moment. Even the kitchen isn't finished. And we've got all the space that we need to work with and fill up with something and also we've only got one bedroom but I do plan to add in another one somewhere here I think we will do a little bit of a time lapse of me designing this space out and putting something in so while this time lapse plays I actually got a few projects that I actually want to talk about that are coming up in the near future and the first one of those is a new raid farm it's actually an update of the last raid farm I did because there's a few bugs and issues that were present or have been discovered by people that I've actually fixed since and I actually need to make a video on that. The next project is a Sim 10 raid farm, an upgrade of the old design and it is probably going to have eight villages running at once. So instead of four non-stacked villages running, it will be eight non-stacked villages running on Sim 10. No village stacking at all. So then after that we have the texture pack video, my own personal texture pack that I have made, custom assets, and I'm going to release that to you guys so that you can use it in your videos if you want, or take the things and use it in different ways. Um, the next thing will also be a few other video ideas that I'm going to keep under wraps from now, but they're going to be a little bit different than my redstone topics that I usually cover. So yeah, hopefully I can get these videos out pretty quickly because this year I plan to take things a bit more chiller so that I can make more content for you all. That being said though, I do have a couple large projects that I still need to finish this year and um, yeah, I'll show you guys what those are later but yeah, got some big projects that I've been working on and I actually really need to get my ANG and get them finished. So yeah, we have completely finished the bedroom area and it looks pretty stunning in my eyes and you can also see that I've put my book of projects right on this pedestal right beside our main living area. I also got my jukebox with all my CDs in it and I actually do have pig step currently in so we'll stick that away. I have something that I want to show you. So here we are in spectator mode and you can see just how densely packed this base is and you can also see that we have completely finished the bedroom. Now if we come over here you can see that we have this walkway and if we come down here I actually want to extend from here and connect it all the way down to this little forest area connecting it to the left here but also connecting it to the very end of the parkour which ends right here now if we come over to the iron farm this thing runs all the time so we get iron all the time from it but the thing is I want to add in another storage system right here for a new farm that's going to run all the time at this base and if we come directly down you can see that we have not one but two amethyst clusters right underneath the base and since both of these are fully grown we could actually have all of these running at the same time collecting us the amethyst shards so that we can make tinted glass now unfortunately I don't think there's any other close by amethyst clusters that we could automatically run possibly that one maybe that one and also that one but the two over there should be plenty fine for the meantime so yeah, a lot that needs to be done in the survivor world, but unfortunately we have run out of time because I've got somewhere to be in the next 12 hours and I am not ready for it. <laughs> Yeah, responsibilities, eh? You gotta be on top of them. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!